nothing springing up where farmland once was. Many people have changed as well. But News 8's Tim Flannery found one man who hasn't given in and still running his business the old-fashioned way. Sounds kind of refreshing, doesn't it? Sure does. You know, the North County coastal area doesn't even look the same way it did when Charles Ledgerwood set up business 59 years ago. Doesn't bother him, though. He just keeps doing what he loves to do, selling seeds by the seashore. What do you recommend? Uh, we have Sugar Baby, which uh, makes a melon about five or six pounds, and it's refrigerator size. Okay. And then we have the larger ones. We have a 15-pound melon. We have the Crimson Sweet. Charles Ledgerwood has any seed you're looking for. That's probably why he's been in business for 59 years. Of course, it's, it's, everything's changed. The farms around him are gone. Old Highway 1 is history. But inside his store, it's still 1933. These, these bins are all 58 years old. This was the size for the... This was the size for the 10, for the 12 cent loaf. And we're not going to need millions of them, but... Okay, 16 ounces is only 25 cents. Fine. He weighs with the same scales he started with, and he's never changed the way he treats uh, his customers. We have three basic types of peas. The type you shell out, we have a short one and a tall one. I work now for 65 years, and I'm not figuring on retiring even yet. Maybe when I get to 100, I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> but, you love this. Oh, yeah. Well, what makes this business so nice is the people. The people that garden are nicer people. Just uh, they're, they're, they're the world's nicest people. What kind of green beans do you have? Blue Lake? We have, yeah, we have Blue Lake. Mm-hmm. They're 30 cents an ounce. Charles Seed Store is the only one of its kind in Southern California, but he has to work 10-hour days to keep it going. He loves it, though, and he knows by now it's not going to make him rich. But you could sell it right now, and, and I mean, you get a ton of money. This is beach real estate. You could be in a right. motor home, be traveling all around the world. <laughs> That's what the realtors tried to convince us, but uh, <laughs> we resisted them for many, many years. Yeah. Why don't you show me that one? Okay. I'm going to see what you got going. Okay. Charles says things have changed so much over the years, only about 2% of the country's population has any knowledge of agricultural science whatsoever. More reason to never give in. We're still hanging on, and it's, uh, it's a nice way of life. It really is. His store sells 150 varieties of flower garden seeds and 100 different kinds of vegetable seeds. He also has a lot of years of experience and has some great advice. And at 86 years old, he's in great shape, so that must show all of us how important it is to eat your vegetables. Right, Flannery children? I argued with him all night last Are night. Are you listening? That. Yeah. Now, that beautiful coastal property, he bought it in 1933. Yeah, I think he paid... Fifteen hundred dollars for it, you know, and it's not expensive. Yeah. I mean, now the land seeds. is, but for the seeds, I've got uh, carrot seeds, I got squash seeds, onion seeds, sweet corn, buck forty. It's what it costs.